good day guys just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys three cheap and quite effective ways to keep deer off your orchard or your uh, vegetable garden the first one is a combination of t-posts and three pound fishing wire I'm not sure if you're able to see this on the video but I have a uh, two lines fixed one at about two and a half feet and one at four and a half five feet here and I've got T post all around this one acre orchard is not visible to the deer at night so when they come and hit their nose or their belly on it they kind of get freaked out and uh, they, they run away it's very effective as long as you have it the right height I think I'm gonna add another one at about four, four and a half feet as well for the smaller deer. But uh, thank God so far this year, I haven't had any losses of my uh, tree branches to, to deer. So um, seems like this has worked or, or the next two methods that I'm gonna show you have. Added. So the second option is, or the second method is hanging soap on beside your trees. This Irish spring soap is um, giving me two uses. One is it's hanging down this plum tree, the, the branch of the training, the branch of this plum tree at about 30 degrees. It's putting weight on it. So I didn't have to put a rope to train the tree branch. Also what it's doing is it's deterring the, the deer with the smell. So that's another option for you guys. Some nurseries also sell specific types of soap for deer. They're actually uh, marketed, maybe more effective than Irish Spring Soap, but this also has um, helped me keep the deer off. I had hung, uh, not on all of the trees, but some of the trees, I would say two thirds of the trees last year, and I thought it would be enough. But to my surprise, the deer had come through. The deer had actually picked on the trees that didn't have the so any soap hanging. So. Um, this year I went ahead and hung a soap, hung a soap on every single tree and uh, so far I'm, I'm confident that uh, between the soap and the fishing wire this has uh, helped me keep the deer off. Now the last option I'm going to show you I've just uh, recently found out <clears throat> when I was doing some research online and there are these predator solar lights. I got a little bird poo on it, but so what happens is I'm gonna see if I can kind of activate it by covering the solar light, solar panel there. So these two lights, I'm not sure if, yeah, there you go. Hope you can see those lights flashing. There we go. So at night, these two lights start flashing red, sun, red lights to far off uh, trees over. That's where the deer come. And uh, I kind of made a stand here um, to make it look like a predator or something standing here. And uh, these actually work for coyotes, for foxes, for uh, raccoons. You just have to set it at the recommended height. So for deer, they recommend about four feet and they're called predator eye solar lights. I'm gonna put a link below in the description below for you guys to check it out if you are interested. There has been a really good range of reviews on this product. So if you're interested, they're not that expensive. I think they're about 30 or 40 bucks for two of them. Go ahead and try them. Um, I'm just, I, I kind of put it for redundancy. Just a short video. If you've liked this, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. The orchard is growing, farmstead is growing. So I'm gonna be updating a lot more videos, hopefully soon, and uh, give you details of how these trees are growing. The permaculture orchard is doing really well, really, really well. Talk to you guys later.